Other columns of matrix A, which represent vectors A1, A2, and A3, linearly independent or linearly dependent. If the columns are linearly dependent, find a relationship that completes the equation, not using all zeros below. The test to determine whether a set of vectors, or in this case, a set of columns in a matrix, are linearly independent or dependent is to solve the homogeneous vector equation shown here below, or the matrix equation shown here on the right, and if the equation has only the trivial solution, the vectors or columns are linearly independent. And if the equation has non-trivial solutions, the vectors or columns are linearly dependent. Let's go ahead and set this up on the next slide. We will let the scalars be C1 through C3. So the vector equation would be C1 times vector A1 plus C2 times vector A2 plus C3 times vector A3 equals a zero vector. And then we could write the vectors as column matrices as shown here below, but because we're given matrix A, we could simply go to the augmented matrix, where notice how matrix A gives us the first three columns of the augmented matrix, and the fourth column is a column of zeros. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here on the right to save time. But let's go and label the columns with the variables C1 through C3. And now let's identify the pivots. Notice how we only have two pivots, row one, column one, and row two, column two, which means C1 and C2 are the basic variables, and C3 is a free variable. So because we have a free variable, we know we have an infinite number of solutions, and therefore we have more than the trivial solution, and therefore the columns of the matrix, or the vectors, are linearly dependent. And let's go ahead and write that down. So more specifically, the first row indicates that C sub one minus C sub three equals zero. The second row indicates that C sub two plus three sub three equals zero. And because C sub three is the free variable, we can say C sub three equals C sub three. Let's parameterize the solution by letting the free variable C sub three equal T. So if C sub three is equal to T, notice C sub one is equal to T, and C sub two is equal to negative three T. And now to complete the vector equation, we can let T be any value that we want. Let's just let T equal one. Let's just let T equal one. So if T is equal to one, notice C sub one is equal to one, C sub two is equal to negative three, and C sub three is also equal to one. But remember for this equation, we can let T be any value and the equation will be equal to the zero vector. So we're using one, negative three, and one. I hope you found this helpful.